Welcome back to Bitsby Trip, and this is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. So it's been a few months since a proper video has been produced on this channel, and obviously some of you are probably wondering what the heck is going on. No fears, my dudes and dudettes. Most of the content continues on Twitch when I am streaming. So if you're not following me over there, get over there and hit that follow button. This video is going to be a quick recap of multiple streams where I've been doing some GPU testing on the new algorithm set to go live on May 6th, 2020 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Ravencoin network. As most of you know that follow the GPU mining scene, Ravencoin has primarily been overran by FPGAs and ASICs, limiting the participation ability for the masses through a limited run of the X16 RV2 algorithm specialized devices and bit streams available. This goes against the ethos of the Ravencoin community, and as a result, the core development team led by Tron Black took to the social media to solicit some alternatives on where they could improve for the GPU mining participation. The community has since rested on a modified version of ProgPow, which stands for Programmable Proof of Work. This name may be familiar to some, as ProgPow has been the center of Ethereum's proof of work change and discussion for nearly two years. The details of the Ravencoin modification has its own name, KaPow, spelled out K-A-W-P-O-W, which is essentially the Prog proof of work 0.94 baseline, including the kick fix, plus a hex decimal of characters laid out as kapow hashed in. So while that's a cool story, how does it run on your GPUs? Now let's first start with the top of the RTX series. We're gonna start you off with this video with the RTX 2080 and then the 2080 Ti. And I kind of take you through the performance, both from a stock out of the box, what to expect, and then into some of the best optimizations. So I'm taking that two hour video and I'm crunching this down to just a couple minutes for you. This video series over the next couple days is gonna be where I'm just gonna quick fire out straight Straight into the point results from the GTX lineup, some of the other RTX cards, and of course when we talk the Radeon cards, we're talking RX, we're talking the new 5700 XT, and of course the Vega 5664 and Vega 7. So we're at 25.94 on a base RTX 2080, or not a base 2080, this is the For the Win 3 edition of the 2080, 25.94 with no settings changed. Full system power is 270. So the 12 volt of the GPU is pulling 147 and riser power is pulling 61. So we're gonna go 300 here. So we had pretty good success with 300. We'll go 125, we'll try 63 again. We still got over 160 on the efficiency there. 168, Whew. look at the 12 volt rail. So we're looking at 38 on the riser rail there. We are at 89, 90, we're under 100 watts now of power being pulled from the 35.61. It has a base efficiency of 130, which is not too bad, but it's using a crap ton of power to get there. Power from the PC is at 350. We're almost pulling 200 watts just from the 12 volt rails there. Holy crap. That is 80 watts coming from the riser. I've never seen it that high. I would not recommend putting a 2080 Ti on an SATA based riser. That is a lot of power coming through that little riser. Face out of there. So that was the thermal view. And that glowing was the, was the capacitors on the riser. So the, the outer part of that capacitor, the, there's two capacitors in the front of that, that riser and it was glowing almost uh, at a 40.9. To the rear, you can't really see, but you can see where the back plane is getting pretty warm when you're running that kind of power to it. All right, let's step this down further. Let's go down to our 63, is another setting I've been using. It's still any good. But yeah, so I mean, they're, they're still pretty good. So we've done, you can equivalent those to the 10, 70 and the 1060 testing I did, which is in the spreadsheet. Um, the efficiencies were around kind of the same and we're at 33. So our first drop in mega hash, but we still have a very high efficiency. Full system, 218, GP power 118. And this probably is gonna bring our riser into where we're safe. Land, all oh, right at 50. Right, almost at 50. 50. Trying for a 200, 
or close to 200, giving it a little more juice. So, so you see that juice allowed us to get a little higher on the megahertz there, because we're really starving the GPU out right now. But it's, a, it's the balance of efficiency versus power. So that got us to 35, and now we're at 86. So we're, we, we ticked up a little bit but because it's using more power. The efficiency didn't really gain a lot, even though the mega, or the mega hash went up by almost two points. Cool. So while that whets the proverbial GPU appetite, remember there are several other channels that have been covering a range of possibilities with settings and performance. So you might want to go check them out too. Like always, links to the equipment and software is below. Hit that subscribe button and follow on the other socials listed. Until next time, I'll catch you later.